Go back. Start again. Oh, okay. We're back. We're back. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Live Take TV. Two. <laughs> Take two. Take two. Yeah, take two. This is when Take the sound two guy because, because who starts freaking Cinco de Mayo margaritas. That's <laughs> 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 lunch while he bought him margaritas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now <laughs> we are going to go back and we're going to do a lunch movie, which would be Attack the Block, eh? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's an alien, bruv. Believe it. And I landed in the wrong place, though. You get <laughs> the wrong place. <laughs> Welcome to London, motherfucker. <laughs> well done, lads. You discovered a species hitherto unknown to science. Believe. Maybe there was a party at the zoo and a monkey fucked a fish. Yo, check it. More. More what? Them things. Lovely fireworks. Mum, it's alien invasion. Of course it is. I'm killing them. I'm killing them in the street. Let's get tooled up, blood. Quite sweet, really, aren't they? Oh, that's different. They ain't even the same thing. That looks triple the size, blood. We need to get off the streets. Back in a block. What kind of alien would invade some shitty council estate in South London? One that's looking for a fight. <laughs> What is that? I'm shitting myself in it, but at the same time, this is sick. I've got one text left. This is too much madness to explain in one text. You have to call the police. You'd be better off calling the Ghostbusters, love. It's mayhem and he's pop. What <laughs> who kills us? No one is gonna ever call you mayhem if you keep on acting like such a pussy. We're going to Ron's weed room. That's the safest place in the block. What's Ron's weed room? It's a big room full of weed and it's Ron's. So uh, I believe in 2011 the raid came out. Do you know if that's correct? Wasn't the it 2011? No, the, the yeah, first one. I think so, yeah. But yeah. Uh, I, and so what happened is after seeing the raid and being a violent yeah. movie, I happened to come across this one, Attack the Block, and I thought this sort of looks interesting. And I knew it'd be sort of comedic. So I watched. That's like. Oh my God! It's almost the same plot. They're stuck in this building. They have things after them, <laughs> and it's getting violent. Right? People are dying. So, but what happens with this movie? Uh, these young kids, uh, teenagers, uh, basically, I would say they're just sort of bored and want something to do. So, but they go around and they start they're mugging kind of people. Thugs. Yeah. They're little. Like yeah, they're, they're little gangs. They're little gang on their own, but they mm -hmm. come from the poor families. But, you know, it's weird because even some of them have parents who care. Like this one character, the mother's constantly calling on the phone saying, okay, 10, you've got to be home by 10. He goes, yes, mom, I promise, you know. So in a way, it's sort of funny how to watch these kids and you think, oh, they're no good because they're mugging this. And she's right. a white nurse uh, played by Jodie Whittaker. Mm -hmm. She gets mugged because she lives and happens to live in this sort of uh, public housing in Britain. She's just starting. It's, right. She's a new job for her. Right, exactly. So... Here she is. She has to deal with that. They then find or come across an alien being, which they mm -hmm. fight and kill. And John Boyega, who's basically the leader of the gang, he's the one who's playing the character Moses. He carries this thing, and he doesn't know what to do with it, except it's his trophy now. So as he's carrying it around, he decides he's going to go to the one place where he thinks it's safe, and that's in the drug dealer's uh, pot room, I guess. I can't forget what he Where called it. Where he grows it, all his pot. Right. But how it's sealed off. So yeah. apparently it, it's hermetically sealed or whatever you want to call it, where nothing can sort of get in and out kind of thing. So they take the dead alien, and then all of a sudden, 
uh, they notice more things are crashing to the ground because I think that's what it was. Something hit a car. They come across it. They fight it. All of a sudden, they see a bunch of things coming down. In fact, that's when they think, oh, there's an alien. It's an alien invasion. So one happens to crash in the park close to them. And all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> it's, a, it's an odd thing because while they're sort of telling, trying to tell people that they're aliens there, the police are after them because the woman has gone to the police and said, these people mugged me. Mm-hmm. And they said, oh, well, come along with us on a drive. If you spot them, we'll arrest them. So you got that going on. Then he, while after being arrested, he gets into, he basically uh, steals the uh, police van mm-hmm. because of things that happened. And he hits into this guy named Hi Hats, who just hired him to be sort of, you know, his flunky because mm-hmm. he's like a drug dealer. Well, he ruins the guy's car. So now he thinks, oh, he wants to take over the block. <laughs> <laughs> so when they talk about attack the block, it's not just the aliens, it's also. Oh, people are having a gang war on the block because they want to own the territory, sell the drugs. So now he's got this sort of psycho character coming after him as well. So it's just a mishmash of all this stuff. But I have to admit, I just thought it was so much fun. The young kids that cast to play all these members. And like I said, John Boyega, like I said, I thought he was stunning. In this. Star Wars fans. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God. When I saw that trailer, I said, Attack the block. That's, that's <laughs> most of them attack the block. <laughs> and then even Jodie Whittaker, at one point, she realizes, because, oh, uh, that's that's when they're running away from the aliens. They see her. They call her the snitch. She's running to her apartment. Mm-hmm. They break into her apartment, and they barricade themselves in her apartment. But I like the fact that she actually gets a guitar, you know, a wooden guitar, <laughs> an acoustic guitar, and goes out and says, you get out of my apartment now. She was actually trying to hold her own ground, right? Yeah. I thought that was good. And they're trying to explain to her, no, no, no. Then, of course, firsthand, she sees what's really going on. So then it's her. She, at one point, she's the one who says, no, we have to go to police. And don't worry, I'll tell them, you know, they're afraid they're going to get in trouble because they're, they're going to be accused of killing people. And it's the aliens that go around killing people. <laughs> yeah. But as they go along, and another, uh, the, uh, what was that, um, um, Nick Frost character, I can't oh, remember yes. his name, he was the drug dealer, and yes. then, yeah. and one of his customers played Ron, by Luke Trudway. Ron, Trudway. He's Ron, Ron, something. Ron, right, because it's Ron's weed room, that's what it was, Ron's <laughs> weed room. And then <laughs> Luke Treadway plays that, one of the customers, Ron's yes, customers. very positive. They are very funny and hilarious, because <laughs> even at one point, uh, when the, oh, when the aliens are coming down, you see one of the kids get excited. It's like, oh, yeah, quick, let's go weapon up. Like, they all go home. They get a baseball bat. They get a chain. They get this. Uh, and as they're all running out, that's when Ron says, you know, they're really kind of sweet kids, aren't they? You, know, you can see they're on a venture, right? Yeah. And that's how you feel about them. You feel, really think, oh, these are just poor kids. They're, well, not, they're just these horrible gang kids that are living in the projects mm. that are just going to go around, you know, uh, robbing, robbing people. people. Yeah. So it turns out that Moses and namesake really does lead not only his gang, but a lot of people onto yeah. his side and to a new victory. Because he, and as it goes along, like I said, uh, things come out about <laughs> why he's being chased or singled out. Because there's even a great scene, I thought, where he goes to visit what I think is assumingly a girl he likes. Oh, I remember, didn't. I, I have to think about that. Remember, well, there's uh, a group of girls that, that they go right, to their but house. Remember, he. I it, thought it was his sister or something. No, oh, I think oh, no, because no, remember no, they run well, into like them at first. Yeah, exactly, right. yeah. They run into him and says, "You killed that." And he goes, "Yeah." And he's trying yeah. to look tough in front of her. Yeah. Yeah. And then he goes to her apartment, and that's why I thought, oh, because he says something about. Uh, you know, oh, she doesn't know these girls that well. Like, they're tough. And then again, the girls themselves prove themselves tough. They can, uh, yeah. they can hold their own, right? Yeah. But they realize, because even the girl says, you know, you're, she tells Moses, you're just bad news. <laughs> Everything bad happens. First, it's the police. You get in trouble. Then this, you know. And so right. you see yes. him dealing actually with a lot of stuff, in my opinion, as a teenager, and then figuring out, and then finally, in my opinion, coming into his own, said, it's up to me to save the block. And that's what I love. I said, okay, th- this is what made the movie for me. Just, I said, great. I'm glad to see this. And it is sad because you are going to see some people die that you really like the characters. But it's like, mm-hmm. it goes on and it's it's just, I, again, this one is the ending is what made it for me. I yeah. really enjoyed mm-hmm. the ending and how it ended with them chanting his name. Yeah. So. 
Sure. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too. Actually, you're right. They set it up that you really like all these characters. In, in the beginning, I'm thinking, what assholes? Because they, they start with a mugging and they yeah. do this mugging. Yeah. And it kind of reminds me of Apocalypto. You know, Apocalypto, they set you up that you like all the uh, the tribe, the characters. Oh. But if they're going to get killed off, you really feel it. Mm. But in this movie, they... But one interesting thing, interesting, look, what well, things kicking me. He said that, you know, they mug a girl and then they find out that she lives in the same building that they do. And he tells her, if we had known you lived in our building, we, we would have never mugged you. We wouldn't have <laughs> mugged you. Because you're part of the hood. You're part yeah, of the neighborhood. Yeah, you're, 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 so, so that's kind of like the laws of the rules. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of like a coming of age movie for Boyega. It's in, in a Very weird way, you know, doing a sci-fi and everything. So mm-hmm. he, he goes from a... A, a boy to a man basically in the movie very much so, yes. so and then he we find out that he's really 50 years old yeah, she, she says to her like, Damn, Hel- you know because she sees his room right. she's like do you have a younger brother <laughs> and he's like uh, no and she goes how old are you he goes 15 <laughs> 15 he's like a, he's like a, he's like the man mm-hmm. <laughs> and what we don't find out too is at the beginning that they, they when they find this little alien that they kill he happens to be a female yeah. Right. And, and then That's the, uh, and, and well, we the, don't, yeah, they don't know that, <laughs> yeah, and no, we don't know yeah. that. And then I don't know if I'm doing spoilers, but all these other aliens that come in are males because it's mating season. Mm-hmm. So that's what they're, uh, you know, pissed off at them, anyways. So actually, I, I, I got this, you know, the, the plot was inspired by an event where the director was mugged himself. And after adding the science fiction angle to the plot, uh, Joe uh, Cornish. Yeah. Interview various kids in in youth groups in order to find out what kind of weapons they would use if a real alien invasion would occur. Oh, interesting! The director wanted to counter the trend of he wanted to counter the trend of hoodie horror films, which dem, dem, uh, demonize urban youth. So uh, uh, Cornish also based. Oh, so basically, there's, there's a lot of movies about you know urban youth and the hoodies and everything. So he wanted to make it more like a heroes. Mm-hmm. And then he said that the uh, that you know that that one character, the the posh kid. It was the uh, Bru- Bruis, the yeah, Stoner Bruis. That's a Luke Treadway. Yeah. Yes, he's a uh, uh, he based that on himself in in his twenties. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So oh, that was him in his twenties. That's hilarious. So, like, that was a, like, like to me that was a kind of comedy relief. This yes, was, like, very really much so. Parched kid, Russell mm-hmm. was a, a BMW that gets hit by the. Yeah, alien he's buying thing. he's buying his drugs from his pot from yes. these yeah. guys. That, yeah. That what I love, yeah. That, Yes, Dad. I'll have the car back to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, the, and then so, to me, he was a comedy relief. And then uh, uh, the guy from, what, what the Fuss? The, the, Nick the, Frost. Nick Frost. Yeah. And, the, the, and there's two little kids who are like 10 or 11 oh, years old. They were very they good. Oh, my God. So they, tough. They, Props this, and mayhem. Yes, yes. So these two like 11 year olds. They were so pop, great. And they got the little water gun and everything. But they actually put like acid or something. Uh, and really gasoline tough or kids something. Or so, yeah. Petrol, so I they guess. Were, to them, me, yeah. they were also the, the uh, comedy relief. Because kind of like a, uh, the, what's the vampire movie? Uh, Last Boys. There's the young kids mm, that are really tough. Right. Yeah. So they yes. had his song. Took kids that you kind of in a way know nothing's going to happen to these kids because they're really tough and somehow they're going to get through it because but anyway so yeah I, I really I really enjoyed it, I thought it was, yeah it was this was kind of to me it was just such a pleasant surprise I just didn't you know this is called the adorable raid <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like so I, I was just so pleasantly surprised with this uh, movie I enjoyed every minute of it um, an alien invasion in South London. Now, apparently, I tell my friends who are English, it's like, well, the movie is like in South London, and that means something. So that, um, you know, I guess that's a certain part of town yeah. that I, I don't know what that is. <clears throat> a bunch of street kids band together to defeat the intruders. What a pleasant surprise. Uh, witty, action. Even a little bit of, mm, so, you know, I really? took at the heart. Yeah, oh, I thought it was so wow. very sweet in some ways. Mm-hmm. I thought the character, um, uh, uh, Moses, right. his character was so mm. endearing. <laughs> I was going to say that. He was so stoic. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, I was going to say, I was telling Susie that when I was watching it, you know, because there's a scene where they, like the Rambo, when he gets his arms and everything. Well, they, the kid gets the uh, the uh, samurai sword and they get the yeah. bats and everything. Right. The weapons. And I was saying, if this movie would have been like in in the U.S., 
in the kiss in the kiss go for the that's that uh, M16 the same automatic cuz it the, the guy no, called that's the shotgun. Shotgun. That's this is this is a british movie because if yeah. it was in america or the us the the weapon for the oh, you, you watch too much america uh, english movies with me he's like america well, US. Right, right, exactly, that, yes. that was one of the jokes i thought that was funny mm-hmm. right when uh, the, the young boy uh, i don't know which one it was mayhem <laughs> But he has a gun, and that's when they, they take it from the little kid, thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so he uses. Oh my God! It is a toy gun. It's a toy gun. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this, these unlikely people—the nurse, the guy who's come to buy his pot, the, the street flash, kids—they flash mm-hmm. they all join together, and it's an adorable raid with kids. <laughs> 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 so yeah, loved it, mm-hmm. loved it. So I, I, I will start. Are we ready yeah. to? So, yeah. Okay, I will give it a nine. I loved it. Oh wow! No, I give it an eight. Yeah, so no, I still eight. give it a seven. <laughs> <laughs> almost, a, almost a ten. <laughs> okay, bub bub, you gonna take a seven? We'll be back. Well, your bub bubs are getting kind of weak there, George. It's the sequel. We're going. <laughs> 